Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the DM Demo 1000 Day Challenge. Alright, so let's get back to the seminar reporting one. So, okay, actually my parents are here to update. I did mention that they have a small profit uh, for Ethereum itself and then a break even a small loss for Bitcoin itself. Other than that, uh, going back in terms of a market structure update itself, we do look into our S&P 500, which form, which form a very nice green bullish candlestick yesterday itself. In particular, I would say for S&P 500. So that's definitely a key sign strength over here. You can see it was a very nice break above the 200 exponential moving average. But bear in mind that a um, little cautious in the sense that we are coming a little bit too rapidly in my case. So without a doubt, this could still form into somewhat like a V-shaped kind of recovery, even though people say that it's unlikely, but this is what seems to be forming itself because the kind of drop is really steep and then this kind of climb is really fast as well. So not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, in terms of resistance, why is definitely, uh, let's see where it is. Uh, if you look in terms of say on the PDG itself, let's go back to bar. If you look into the purely from high all the way to the recent low itself, we already come back all the way to 0 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. So I'll say somewhere between this 4.3 to 4.4k region itself would definitely be a primary key resistance right now. I definitely don't think we'll be break, able to break through this on the very first try. So I said, if you're looking to enter a long way, if you're in the long trade, then this would be where I'm looking to take some profit off of it. Simply because it's a little bit more parabolic, I do see potential pullback and retracement over this region itself. Before we grab a, or consolidation to raise itself, before we actually continue towards the upside, that would be a more likely scenario in that particular case. All right, and then if you move over to Nasdaq itself, uh, it was less bullish yesterday itself, but we still managed to close right below the key two key dynamic resistance itself, which is the 150 simple moving average and also 200 exponential moving average at this region itself. So right now we actually crossed the target today in today's opening itself. So similarly over here, we are seeing some sort of like a parabolic climb itself. So let's be a little bit cautious. But removing in this terms, expect and looking at the potential dynamic resistance price, if you look from the high all the way to the low region itself, we definitely only hit 0 0.382, we are in the mix to hit 0 0.5 to the natural retracement. So definitely Nasdaq has been more greatly hit in the progress as well. And recovery wise, it still has a room to grow in that sense. So let's see how things go, but definitely given time wise, I do see a 200 simple moving average catching up to the 0 0.5 to the retracement level, that will be the permanent resistance itself, along the primary resistance, resistance, and support over here. All right, and over if you move into ASHR wise, uh, without a doubt yesterday or based on yesterday close, I'll still be leaning towards the bearish uh, is a potential sign that we could reverse, especially like what I mentioned previously, the fact that we do want a very nice bounce from 0 0.6 to the retracement level, and then we want a really nice bounce and it continues towards upside. That would be a very good sign, especially if you can break these key two key dynamic resistances first before we get some sort of retracement and pull, healthy pullback in that sense. And if you move over in terms of keyword wise, uh, even though there's the four percent change in terms of today wise, I'm not entirely bullish just yet, simply because we are still below this twenty exponential moving average for the daily chart. So definitely, I'm wanting to break strongly above it, preferably all these three key resistance at the same time. When we want to break the same day itself, that will give a very strong sign of strength. Otherwise, if you can break on consecutive days to break all these dynamic resistances, wise would similarly be a good sign of strength. All right, and then finally for Bitcoin itself. So crypto itself is generally right now very interesting, especially for Bitcoin Ethereum itself, in particular Ethereum, if you're talking about the, uh, the likelihood of the hard fork itself for next month, from my understanding around next month, next month could be shifting from the proof of work to the proof of stake kind of protocol, and that would definitely be a very huge major shift. So right now, I do think that uh, Ethereum is a little bit more of an overpriced simply because of the fact that a lot of this uh, momentum has been factored in. So definitely Ethereum has recovered a lot better compared to Bitcoin in terms of the percentage to the all-time high itself. All right, so, but anyway, if you can just Bitcoin itself, we definitely do see a potential close above this region itself. What I do want it to close is close above 25K itself. Otherwise, I still do see this region as a potential consolidation zone until we break above that. Then I will see a very strong sign that we could very fast and very quick reach this 28.5 or 26k region itself. And then we could potentially see some support and resistances and consolidation here before we could potentially break through this resistance as well. All right, so that is how it is right now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop by your comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.